one of the biggest frustrations when you're learning the uke is how do you get from one chord to the next? And what I've realized in my own uke journey is that it's all about what I call finger order. You're not just trying to dive pell-mell from one position to the next, but if you can figure out which digit is going where, first, second, and third, you'll stand a much better chance of getting to your destination chord. Let's look at um, some common shifts between chords, starting with C to F. Okay? So until the day arrives that you can just jump as one unit, what you want to do when going from C to F is think of it in three distinct moves. So from the C chord, the first thing you're going to do is lift off the ring finger and then let the index finger fall just about where it is naturally, which will end up on the second string at the first fret. And then the middle finger can hit on the fourth string at the second fret. So your order will be one, lift off the ring finger, two, pop the pointer down on the second string at the first fret, three, middle finger falls down on the fourth string at the second fret. So you want to have that distinct series of three steps. One, two, three. And then go back. One, two, three. Now eventually this will become one solid move, but it really helps if you break it up into separate moves at first. Let's look at another very common progression. This is C to G7. Happens all the time, of course. Um, this will have three moves as well. So from the C chord, the first thing you're going to do is move your ring finger down one fret to the second fret, okay? So the first move is to slide that ring finger down one fret and then pop the pointer finger on the second string, first fret, just like in the F, and then the middle finger will fall on the second fret, but this time on the third string. So here are the three moves. Ring finger slides down one fret, pointer finger falls right here on the second string, first fret, and then middle finger will flop down on the third string, second fret. So let's look at those moves again. One, two, three. Slide, two, three. One, two, three, and you're home safe. Okay, how about G to D7, another common progression. So the best way to handle this move is you're from the G chord, you're gonna lift off everything except the ring finger, okay? The ring finger will stay posted on the second string third fret. So the first move is to lift off your pointer and middle, and they hover in the air. Then we slide that ring finger down one fret, and then we pop the middle finger down at the second fret on the big fourth string. So here are the three moves. One, lift off everything but the ring finger. Two, slide the ring finger down one fret. And three, plop it down the middle finger on the fourth string second fret. One, two, three. And eventually, of course, it will become one move, but it really helps to break it up into finger order when you're feeling like you're wearing a raincoat in the shower starting out on the uke. Have fun, Yuking.